Hello and welcome to this edition of the Chick Chat. We are creating helpful information connections for Greenville, Pitt County and the surrounding areas and this is our first episode for 2020. I want to welcome you all to the new year and back to the Chick Chat. This program is brought to you in part by the Mideast Commission Area Agency on Aging and our goal is to bring you information about the events that are held and hosted by our local nonprofit agencies and organizations that bring or that help to make Greenville, Pitt County, and the surrounding areas just a wonderful place to live. We're going to get kick started off with a quick reminder about Census Day. It's April 1st, uh, 2020, and it's going to be here sooner than we think. So I'd like to remind you all to watch your mailboxes for information about the ways you can complete your census form. Let's make sure every single person counts in 2020. You can get more information by going online to www. 2020census.gov. The Low Income Energy Assistance Program, otherwise known as LEAP, has begun accepting applications to assist families who need assistance with home heating expenses. Now, the 2019-2020 program stipulates that ap applications will be taken until March 31st, 2020 at various locations, and when all of the funds have been spent, then the program will end. The uh, payments are mailed directly to the vendors, and that's the person you pay your uh, heating bill to, and the amount will be based on household size and income. Now, the priority applications were accepted from December 2nd, 2019 through January 2nd of this year for households with persons age 60 and older or someone receiving disability benefits and services through the Division of Adult and Aging Services. So now that that date has passed, all applicants can now apply through March 31st, 2020. There are income verification requirements that must be met. All of the information you need about those income verification requirements and application locations and times can be found at the PittCountyNC.gov website. Take the first step towards obtaining your high school equivalency exam or adult high school diploma. The Transitional Lab at Pitt Community College has the path all laid out for you with their open lab assessment center and no appointment is necessary. Assessment testing in the high school equivalency or adult high preparatory classes are offered at no cost to you. There's no cost either to take the TABE assessment test and that is a test for new students. The Open Lab Assessment Center is located in room 123 of the G.H. Leslie Building on the Pitt Community College main campus, and you'll find that at 2000 Eddie Smith Street in Winterville. Just make sure you bring a photo identification in your Social Security card when you go to the center. The TABE placement testing is conducted on Tuesdays from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Thursdays from 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, just call 493 73 Nine, six. The Teddy Bear Children's Advocacy Center is hosting their Circle of Security Parenting Series. This is an eight-week series of classes for new veteran or foster parents, as well as educators who would all like to learn more ways and different styles of strengthening their relationships with their children or their students. This series is going to run on Thursday night, starting on January 9th, and it's going to run out through February 27th. You can get more information and register by emailing Bonnie Jean Curris. Her email address is kurasb18 at ecu.edu. The Living Healthy Workshop Chronic Disease Self-Management Program is being held in both Martin and Pitt Counties. If you or someone you care for has diabetes, heart disease, asthma, any other ongoing health condition, then this Chronic Disease Self-Management Program is ideal for you. Now, if you're a caregiver of someone who lives with a chronic disease, then this is a program you might want to attend as well for insight into how to care for them. This is a six-week series that meets weekly for two and a half hours and participants will receive a copy of the Living a Healthy Life with Chronic Conditions workbook. A lot of topics are going to get covered in this six-week program, exercise and nutrition, managing pain, fatigue, difficult emotions and depression, talking with your family, friends and health care providers, and so much more. You're also going to learn the skills to help you have increased energy and physical activity, decreased pain, fatigue, depression, and other health distressors 
and definitely fewer social limitations. This series is offered at no cost to participants. In Martin County, the program is taking place on Tuesdays, January 14th through February 18th, and it's going to go from 1.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Martin County Adult and Aging Services Building, and that's located at 2 zero one lee street in williamston you can get more information and register by calling brandy at nine seven four one eight five four now in pitt county the program is taking place on thursdays january 23rd through february 27th from 10 a.m to 12 30 p.m at the cm epps recreation center located at 400 nash street you can get more information or register for the Pitt County program by calling the Pitt County Council on Aging at 752-1717 and you're going to want extension 201 for Pitt County. Now also being offered up in Martin County is a matter of balance and this is a workshop that helps folks to increase their activity levels, decrease their fears of falling, and help them learn ways to reduce the fear of falling and increase the activity levels among older adults that are going to reduce their risk of falls. The Matter Balance class consists of eight two-hour sessions that are held weekly and activities include group discussions, problem solving, skill building, assertiveness training. You will watch some videotapes as part of the edu educational program and you'll get some exercise training. This is going to enable participants to achieve significant goals and gain the confidence to increase their daily movements. You'll be able to view falls as controllable. You'll set goals for increasing your activity levels. Make those changes necessary to reduce your falls risk at home. Exercise plays such an important role in increasing strength and balance and this is going to be a great way to learn how to get that exercise on. The upcoming workshop in Martin County will take place at the Martin County Adult and Aging Services Building and again that's located at 201 Lee Street in Williamston. This program runs on Tuesdays January 14th through March 3rd from 10 a.m. to 12 noon and there is no cost to participants. However, you do need to pre-register by January 10th. You can get more information and register by calling Brandy at 974-1854. The Pitt County Council on Aging is looking for Meals on Wheels program volunteers and is going to hold a home delivered meals volunteer training opportunity. It's going to take place on Tuesday, January 21st at 10 a.m. Volunteering to deliver meals to homebound adults in our community will prove to be a most rewarding experience for those of you who do volunteer. That Pitt County Council on Aging is located again at 4551 County Home Road right here in Greenville. You can get more information and let them know that you want to volunteer by calling Susan at 752-1717, extension 204. The AARP Smart Driver Course is now a new one-day driver course, and it is focused on crash prevention. I believe we were reporting the date for this as the 22nd, but it is actually taking place on the 27th, so I'm going to give you all the correct details here today. Topics do include changes in modern cars, roads and drivers, and how age-related issues affect driving ability. The course is taking place on Monday, January 27th from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Pitt County Council on Aging 4551 County Home Road. Cost is $15 if you are an AARP member and only $20 if you're not. You do need to register by Monday, January 20th to attend. And the number to call to do that or to get more information is 752-1717, extension 201. Stop Human Trafficking is presenting Human Trafficking 101 at Shepherd Memorial Library located at 530 Evans Street. It's going to take place from 6 to 8.30 p.m. on Thursday, January 23rd. Now, what do we have next? The Pitt County Council on Aging has their Road to Resources program and it's continuing right on into 2020. And the February presentation is a really timely subject. It is medications keeping them safe and effective and will take place on Monday, February 17th from 3 to 4 p.m. at the Pitt County Council on Aging located at 4551 County 
Home Road. Medications can be confusing, so come see Ellen Watson. She's a clinical social worker with CareNet East, and she's going to be sharing tips on how to avoid medication mishaps and improve medication use knowledge. You don't want to miss out on this informative presentation. All you have to do is call 752-1717, extension 201, to register to attend and get more information. All right. North Carolina Medicist and Vidant Beaufort Hospital is hosting a free over-the-counter medication giveaway on Friday, February 28th from 8, excuse me, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at First United Methodist Church, which is located at 304 West 2nd Street in Washington. Bring your friends, family, and neighbors for free health screenings and over-the-counter medications. That includes Band-Aids, cough, cold, and flu medicine, pain and allergy relief, vitamins, as well as children's medicine, and much more. As long as those supplies last, they are going to be distributing them at no cost to you. No identification is required, but you do need to be at least 18 years of age or older to receive the medications. You can get more information by visiting www.medassist.org. I'd like to share a little bit of information about the ECU Lifelong Learning Program. This is a program that offers adults of all ages affordable experiences in a relaxed atmosphere. And the purpose of the program is to connect, engage, and inspire the Eastern Carolina community by providing educational opportunities that are stimulating and enriching. The Lifelong Learning Program includes programs and presentations that fall into several categories, and those categories include aging and retirement, creative arts, history and religion, interest groups, lifestyle enrichment, as well as technology. They also feature trips to wonderful educational, fun, and exciting locations. You can get more information about becoming a Lifelong Learning Program member by calling 32891. Nine, eight. All last year you heard us talking about the Optimum Life Continuing Education Series that's being hosted at Brookdale located on Arlington Boulevard. Well, they're going to keep at it right through 2020 with that monthly presentation being held from 12 to 1 p.m. at Brookdale West Arlington and that's located at 2105 West Arlington Boulevard. Now the Optimum Life Continuing Education Series is for healthcare professionals. They will watch recorded webcasts. It's a series that features a different senior related topic each month and it's going to provide one continuing education credit per session for nurses, social workers, case managers, and nursing home administrators. You can get more information about the monthly presentations, the dates that they'll be held, and register to attend by calling Brittany Elks at 412-9963. We haven't talked about this one in a while, so I'm happy to remind you that you're invited to join the Beaufort County Traditional Music Association at the Grace Martin Harwell Senior Center. They're located at 310 West Martin, or excuse me, West Main Street. And this takes place on the last Tuesday of every month from 2 to 4 p.m. Go out and enjoy an afternoon of music. Also, Beaufort County senior citizens who are age 55 and older are welcome to visit the Grace Martin Harwell Senior Center every single Tuesday from 10 to 11 a.m for a free blood pressure check that will be performed by a trained volunteer right there at the Senior Center. If you'd like more information about that, just call the Grace Martin Harwell Senior Center at 975-9368. If you are looking for a job, you can improve your chances of finding one by attending classes at the Bethel Resource Center with Pitt Community College. The classes will help improve your interview and communication skills, help you to understand employer expectations, and along with all that, they're going to teach you how to enhance your financial skills. The classes are free if you are unemployed or underemployed. If you're interested in taking any of these classes, just contact Kanisha Wiggins at 493-7885. Just a reminder that if your home was built prior to 1978, it could have lead paint and if you have children under the age of six who live in that home they could be in danger if you make any repairs or remodel that older home it's possible that lead dust found in the older paint layer can be released and this can harm a child's brain and cause lifelong learning and behavioral problems the city of greenville does have a program that pays to test and remove or encapsulate that lead paint and i want to let you know that you can contact sylvia 
Brown at 329-4509 to get more information about that lead paint program right here in Greenville. Thank you for joining us for this, the first edition of the Chick Chat for 2020. I want to welcome you. Come back every week. We tend to change up every week to two weeks with additional information added about the events held and hosted by our local nonprofit agencies and organizations that make Greenville, Pitt County, and the surrounding areas such a wonderful place to live. I hope you'll join us. Tell your family, friends, neighbors to get out there and participate, and we'll see you next time.